Hey everybody, uh, I am going to show everybody a first look at my downloading of the latest version of 3D Coat. Uh, now I have a little confession. Um, now originally I had started out with uh, Viva, right? It was so cool to be able to uh, do all the things that you could in ZBrush and I had been previously I, I, I grew up with 3DS Max, and I I never knew the world of uh, high poly, uh, you know, sculpting and stuff, which you could do in 3D Coat. But then when I was at school, <coughs> or the Art Institute, one of my teachers uh, recommended 3D Coat, <coughs> and he's, you know, he's um, really smart, and... <coughs> And um, so I, I got into that, and I was totally, totally hooked. It, it seemed to um, um, stomp over um, ZBrush, or the ZBrush version that I was using. And I, I don't know. I was um, dead set on that for months and months and months. That was the only program I would open. And I kept trying to master it and things like that. And... <coughs> and for some, I'm not even sure how, but for some reason I, I heard about a new release, or, you know, occasionally I would jump to a PixLogic website and I would uh, <coughs> um, look to see if there were any updates, and I was excited because they were talking about a ZBrush 4 R2, and I, I love free updates to 3D applications because they... They always have such cool things and things, or stuff like that. So I got that version of ZBrush, and just like a, a switch, I, I turned off 3D Coat for months and months and months, and after the next release of ZBrush, ZBrush 4 R2B, which is really, really nice. <coughs> um, and I, I don't know, I keep looking down at my start screen and um, <coughs> 3D Coat, you know, got my attention again, so I'm going to download the latest version of 3D Coat for everybody to look at. So, here we go. Nice. Okay. That's not my address. Whatever. Okay, now, normal 3D Coat. Good 3D coat. Good 3D coat with support. Oh no, sorry. Uh, okay, 3D coat with support. And then this is this is my version. Nice. <coughs> okay, save. No, I have no idea what's going to be in this update. So maybe we should. Uh, while this is downloading, we should look at what that what updates are available for 3D coat. So what is this is a three point um <coughs> I don't know. Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna stare at this crab for a while. Uh <coughs> um let's see, where was the download? Yeah, right there. Probably might take a while, so I'll probably pause it until it getting closer, and then um, unpause when it's near completion. So I'll be back in a second, everyone. Okay, it's getting a little farther along, and I, I stumbled on the uh, updates page uh, for what changes have been released in the latest uh, ZBrush edition, and I'm looking at my version right now, and I've got 3.5.05a. Um, and that, you know, it looks like there has been some updates since then, and I'm, I'm pretty excited about this adaptive decimate brush, reduce without fear of losing detail, uh, that sounds fun, snake, spikes, curves, muscle, two face tools are supported in surface mo mode to even faster, that's nice. Fancy, fancy. Uh, <coughs> let's see. Um, uh, I don't. I don't know. Uh, so I've 
old crafty stick. So that's nice. Symmetry plane works better. Nice. Painting over multiple voxel layers simultaneously. That seems expensive. <coughs> I'm excited to see what that's like. <coughs> um, dual tool preview will not lag even on high poly voxel objects. Nice. Cavity painting on voxels done. Huh. Uh, any layer may be marked as used as vertex weight and used as vertex weight map, if you will. Export soon as LWO. It works in all paint modes. Weight may, may be 0 0.1 or negative 1.1. On your choice. That's fancy. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till it's done now. Okay, it's almost done. Um, I have no idea what to expect. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, I've really been out of the uh, CD coat loop because of all the crazy enhancements in ZBrush. So let's. I'll probably give everybody a little quick look at the latest in 3D coat. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. Uh oh, what does that mean? Pause. Um. Okay. Oh, what does that mean? What does that mean? No. Oh. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause again. Okay. It looks like it's almost done again. Hopefully it works this time. I don't have to like type in some registration codes or anything like that because I'm not sure. Probably, yeah. That's the whole thing. If you really want the full version, please enter the 30 digit uh, serial code that was given to you in your previous version last year. Mm. Okay, my C drive is filling up, so. Seven zero one two CUDA sixty four. Okay, that'll be hard to find, but we'll get there. Okay, now install. Yay, I'm excited. <coughs> Completed. That's good. Next. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Wait. This isn't it, right? Um. Wait, I don't want to install it again. No, it's okay. Whatever. Yeah, Quadro and 
Sixty four steps. That sounds right. Card trick. Uh, may have video memory leak problems on some NVIDIA drivers. Okay, um, that sounds fun. Ah, uh, serial code, really? Yeah, that, um, okay, let's see. Your copy of this program is not registered, or your PC configuration was, uh, essentially changed. You can continue to work, but some functions will be disabled until you enter a valid serial number. The serial number is uh, hardware independent and you may not may only run one copy of 3D coat at a time. If you detect multiple instances of, instances of 3D coat running simultaneously on several computers, your serial number will be disabled. If you are running 3D coat in different places, don't forget to uninstall the unused license in help. Uninstall license Otherwise, someone may use your license and it will be disabled. Um, okay. Um, please copy your serial, uh, re register. I don't know. I'm not sure how. Well, um, what just happened? No, uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to try and find this real quick. Nice, it registered. Cool, okay, now I, I went to my email and I, I've got like 30,000 emails, so I had to search 3D coat and try and find. I was able to find the registration number for my latest uh, buy of 3D coat, and I copied it, right? And then I started to click on the um, register here, you know, enter your code here button. I clicked on it, and numbers were already in there, like it had. Uh, Remember, uh, uh, remembered my number or password or something. But anyway, it worked. I press enter. Register serial. Uh, thank you for registration. 3D code V3. So yeah. Now let's see. I'll open. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Um. that ex64 um, gl64 yep that sounds right okay um, I think 3701b Cuba okay let me click that so let's see what's in here real quick voxel scope sculpting is my favorite. So let's create a simple uh, sphere. Give it some color or different materials. And similar, well, um, yeah. Similar uh, movement controls as ZBrush, I think, but each 3D application you just need to, need to take a few minutes to remember how to reorient yourself in the window. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, there. Nice. Now I've got a little bit of time left, so I'll go over the basic tools real quick. Um, grow should be doing stuff. Clay. Nice, that's working. And I love how it's, I don't know. Um, in my next video, I'll probably um, show you the positives and negatives of uh, using Lotus ZBrush and this program. Because uh, I, oh, that's fancy. That's hard to do in 3D coat, or as <laughs> ZBrush. Um, yeah, so anyway, see you later, everybody.